For hundreds of years, it's been a rite of passage. The boy should stand atop the Mostar Bridge and leave innocence and good sense behind them by jumping or diving into the swirling current of the Naretva River below. Some fly like birds, some fall like bricks. But when they emerge, they're hailed for their daring. This tradition, this bridge and this happy crowd are all reminders of what Mostar once was. Before it all unraveled, Mostar was a showpiece of multi-ethnic Yugoslavia, where Muslims, Croats and Serbs lived as neighbours and freely followed their faith in mosque and church. Whenever she can, Maya Popovac gets out on the river to paddle her kayak. She is a true child of Mostar's multi-ethnic days. Her mother a Croat, her father a Muslim. First of all, Mostar was a beautiful, small but cultural and really European town. It was really a perfect place to live. Before the war, Mostar was the city with the most mixed marriages in ex-Yugoslavia. We considered ourselves Yugoslavs, so we were so proud to say it. But 11 years ago, the young men who dived off the bridge together began to kill each other. As Yugoslavia disintegrated, Bosnian Serbs took to the hills above Mostar to shell Bosniak Muslims and Croats. And a year later, after the Serbs had been expelled, Croats turned their guns on their one-time Muslim allies. It's awful what they've done, but those are some people, some people from all sides. I can't sell, say I blame Croats, I blame Muslims, I blame Serbs. No, that's definitely not like that. And one of the great casualties of that war was the famous Mostar Bridge. For 437 years, its graceful sandstone arch spanned the Naretva River, before it finally succumbed to a Croatian artillery barrage in November 10 years on and the Mostar Bridge is being rebuilt by an international community desperate to have this become a symbol of a united Bosnia. Ja sam bio neposredno u blizini mosta kada je most bio srušen. Došao sam odmah nakon tog rušenja i to je bila jedna šokantna situacija dok smo gledali tamnu neretu koja je kao da je plakala i slušali pucnje hrvatske vojnika koji su slavili to rušenje mosta. Commissioned by Suleiman the Magnificent, the bridge was completed in 1566. It was something of an architectural marvel. Ingeniously held together with iron pins, it was light yet strong. A Muslim poet of the day called it a crescent moon in stone. The bridge endured for more than 400 years before falling victim to what writer Michael Ignatiev called a perverse act of self-mutilation.
Maya Popovac is not just a Mosterian, she's one of the architects working on the new bridge. In hindsight, she's almost glad its stones tumbled into this river because it told the world that Mostar had sunk about as low as it could go. When people see that something cultural and something that can't be reconstructed completely, when that's gone, that's how the people get that something really weird and some really weird people took the power and weapons in their hands. So that was maybe the, the quickest and the most direct note to the world that something bad is happening. The guns fell silent here eight years ago, but the city still lies among the wreckage of war. This was the confrontation line where Croats and Muslims shelled each other for more than a year. The European Union has financed some rebuilding, new apartment blocks in pastel shades, but much of this pockmarked neighbourhood is too scarred to ever be beautiful again. There aren't any parks in the middle of Mostar, but there are plenty of cemeteries. The fighting here claimed more than 3,000 lives. Another 1,500 people have still not been accounted for. This was really something that went out of the hands of the normal people and get into hands of the weird, non-educated, narrow-minded people. It was fault of me and my parents and all the educated and, and, and people from, from the, you know, cultural towns and everything, we, we let them do, do that kind of thing. Mostar's economy, like much of Bosnia, lies in tatters. Saturday is market day. And we met three women, Muslim, Serb and Croat, all with similar stories. They wouldn't give their names. There's still fear and suspicion here. In the Croat West, there are greater signs of prosperity. Before the war, this woman was a lawyer, her husband, director of the Mostar milk plant. Now he has no job, and she supports a family selling fruit and vegetables. Teško je, da vam kažem, teško je, teško mi živimo ovde. Mi smo lijepo živjeli, lijep je život bio, ali rat je nesretni učinio svoje. Kaže vam, privreda je uništena, privreda nema, a čim nemate privreda, nemate ni dobrog života. Can this be the key to a return of that good life? A $24 million rebuilding of the old bridge, funded in part by the World Bank and UNESCO and overseen by both Muslim and Croat managers. Today, the last stone is to be put in place. This is a symbol of the, the, the city of Mostar. This is connection between uh, two parts of unified city. Uh, this uh, river uh, not, not divide people, but uh, uh, meet... Uh, Bring them together? Together. But there is hostility to the idea, and Mostar's Croats are hearing it from the pulpit. 
Father Ivan Styronia refused to be interviewed on camera, saying he and the bishop don't trust the media to tell the truth. The bridge, he says, is a political one, which won't contribute to the common growth of Mostar or promote reconciliation. The Muslims might like it, he says, but it will only serve as a monument for sightseeing and will bring no benefit to Croats. Religious tension is still very much alive here. Inflamed three years ago with the building of this cross high above the city. Father Styronia rejects claims that at 33 metres high it's too imposing. He says it's merely a vow made by Christians that this site will never again be a place of evil and war. But to the Muslim population who live beneath the cross, it is a brazen symbol of Croat authority. It's my Mostar. Mostar before war, Mostar in the war, and Mostar after war. Alia Berem runs Mostar television and radio. On the air, thanks to large amounts of US dollars, it is very pro-bridge and its Muslim general manager, very anti-cross. Be crossed on the uh, mountain home. It's provocation for Bosniak. Uh, cross is, is in church, but no uh, mountain who mountain who who look all down. NATO has been responsible for securing peace in Bosnia since 1995. Today, a 14,000 strong stabilization force continues to consolidate it, of which more than 4,000 soldiers are based at Mostar's airport. Standing in the middle of the parade ground is the old bridge. S4's commanding officer, Brigadier General Gianmarco Chiarini, is about to end his tour here. He departs, convinced that the bridge is crucial for peace. I give a lot of importance myself to the reconstruction of this bridge. I think it's something that is really important. We are just showing that there is a hope for the future. S4 here, it's crucial for peace. If S4 go now, our peace, it's a big, crucial problem for us. You'd start fighting again? Yes. Yeah? Maybe. <laughs> But today is not about conflict, it's about celebration. It's Diving Day, a tradition which has drawn the brave and foolhardy to this bridge for hundreds of years. With hope in their hearts and their hearts in their mouths. That's fantastic. Emir Balic is Mostar's most famous bridge diver. He took the plunge more than a thousand times. Mostar's new old bridge won't lose its skirt of scaffolding until next year. When it does, it will become an important barometer of the fragile peace in Bosnia-Herzegovina. This beautiful crescent moon in stone is already carrying a heavy weight of expectation.
from the pulpit.